Hey, it's been a little while now since I've done a video on this camera. I'm so used to using my iPad. Um, but this is the moving vlog. I'm moving. So I'm assuming you guys know all of the changes that has happened to this channel uh, with this new slate, this new year, this new energy that I'm shifted into. Um, yeah, so starting with saying goodbye to the space that really helped to house the growth because I mean if you look at videos from last year. December 2016 to December 2017 there has been a huge amount of change huge this space is definitely has a, a very tight spot in my heart it's funny because um this apartment complex and I think I shared this when we first moved in here last year when I shared a little bit about this place but um, this apartment complex is actually where I used to live as a as a young child um, we lived here for a little bit before we moved into a house and everything um, here in Texas so it, it it's just it's just very funny it's just <laughs> very funny and I know it's not a coincidence that I ended up back here as a good starting spot um, but we're being called to more to more responsibilities to uh, manifesting more to creating more in our lives and so while I'm very very thankful for the space and the lessons that were learned here um, I'm also very excited for the next step. So what I'm gonna get ready to do is I'm gonna just do a very like basic apartment tour. I'm not going in depth because I actually have quite a bit of stuff packed up. We're actually moving tomorrow. We get our keys today. So um, I'm going to do my best to vlog that entire process. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna take you guys around the place because it's kind of like my way of being able to document saying goodbye as well. Um, so. I'm gonna, you know, take a, a view of this place, show you guys what we were working with. Again, keep in mind that it's a bit, eh, you know, stuff is packed, some stuff is still out. Um, I'm gonna finish packing up tonight, tomorrow. Um, we don't have much left, just the stuff that we've been using. And um, so I guess I'll stop rambling and I'm just gonna grab the camera and take you guys on our little apartment tour. Bridget over there she is a fig leaf plant and she is beautiful and I got her you guys let me just let me just show you how much she's grown when I got her she was maybe like I don't know like this tall look at do you see where she is now and she used to have all these leaves down at the bottom and they all came off because now she's starting to actually grow into her tree self
So that is pretty much this space. Um, like I said, it's held space for us to really be able to grow tremendously. Um, and I have a lot of gratitude for this space. There was a time about six months ago where I absolutely hated this space and I couldn't wait to get out. And I was trying to figure out every loophole I could to leave. Um, and then that's pretty much when I started entering that really deep phase of spiritual growth. Um, that was like right at the time when I was starting to exit out of Hebrew and enter into just my own spiritual journey. And that was before I had even announced it because it was like I think June or July-ish when that started happening and I started questioning even more. Um, and so this space just held a, it, it held a very just tremendous space for that growth because you know when I left my family, my family's house, when we left and got our first place as a married couple, you know, we left as Hebrew Israelite people. That's what we left our, our, our home as um, when we were living with my parents. And then so for a good six months here, we were like Hebrew all the way. Um, I was very preachy, you know, and just to see the amount of transformation that can happen in six months because it was really like June or July where it started with the deeper questioning, you know, and this space held that energy, you know, it create it created it was it was the exact space meant for me. I can't speak for my husband, although I know he does agree as well. Um, but it was a space for him in different ways. But for me, like my spirit animal was the cockroach. And it wasn't no little cockroach. Like I'm talking like big. Like Texas has huge cockroaches and they're everywhere. They do not care about what skin color you are, how much money you have. Even where my parents live in a super nice area, you know, when people when you say, oh, I live in this area, people are like, oh, you rich, you know? Like they have roaches out there in that area. You know, so the roaches don't know no type of race, money, nothing. They roam and rule Texas. And just the experience alone of understanding and, and having that appreciation for all beings and understanding that all beings can feel, you know, rocks, plants, the dirt, the earth, the planet itself, Gaia, Mother Earth, is a sentient being. The plants, you know, the crystals, the rocks, the bugs, the animals, you know, you can communicate with every single thing. And we tend to think that you have to necessarily, like you have to speak because that's how we as humans tend to think that we have to communicate. But you can communicate, like my dog communicates through his facial features, his eyes. He really communicates with his eyes and his energy. And he can instantly feel energy. He can instantly tell when, you know, that's why dogs can tell when you're sick and they'll come and they'll comfort you because they can sense a change in your vibrational energy. Um, you know, my dog can always tell when my family's gonna go on vacation and he becomes very needy and, and, and drawn to them because he knows they're leaving. You know, so it's just, realizing that everything has a vibration everything has an energy i've become very connected in that way i mean even when it comes to my bracelets you know i thank my bracelets every time i take them off every time i put them on i'm thankful and i'm speaking to my bracelets even with my clothes and things my little um my my moon time cup that i use to collect my my moon time blood you know during my moon time <laughs> moon time moon time moon time you know, I think my cup whenever I'm done using it. You know, I just learned to, and it's funny because when I read a book by Marie Kondo, the, the uh, something of the decluttering book that became really popular, in her book she would talk about thanking your things and speaking to them and thanking your clothes and, you know, all of that. And I thought that was the freaking weirdest thing when I read that, like a year ago when I first got that book. It's probably been longer than a year. But now I'm doing the same thing and I didn't even like register in my mind that that was something that I had read before and once thought was creepy as heck. And so just to see the person who entered into this space and then to see the person who's now leaving this space and to see, you know, like, yes, I've lost some weight, continuing to lose weight. Uh, my locks have gotten a lot longer. You know, when I first moved in here, my locks were freaking shrimps. And now they actually have some length to them, you know. 
they're longer they're actually holding more length than they were when i did my one year update in i think it was like june or july so um and locks for me are a very spiritual thing so just to see them grow so much represents to me the amount of spiritual growth i've also experienced you know um so i'm very grateful for this space and um yeah i really am and i'm really excited to be able to move to the new space um, i'm excited for what that new space holds for me and my husband um i know that the month the the lease was six was has been chosen to be six months for a reason it happened that way for a reason it's no coincidence um, because I know that my husband and I have been called there's a lot of work that we're being called to do in our lives um, where we're putting a lot of plans in place um, one of the biggest things for us right now because today is the 29th um, the new the full moon isn't until the second when you go in human terminology um, but you know I've been feeling the energy very strongly of grandmother moon I'm very connected to the moon and her energy and so I feel her energy very quickly um, I feel energy in general very quickly and I don't always understand why I'm feeling a certain way it's not always until somebody points out like something's happening happening astrologically or whatever or portals opening that I'll begin to realize um, so I'm getting better at being able to understand why I'm feeling certain vibrations and energies but yeah one of the biggest things that I've been feeling um, and that I've already started is ending karmic cycles it's just been a lot it's just been a lot to learn here um and i know that this next place is calling us for more i'm um, calling us to oh, i was talking about ending karmic cycles which we've already started and we've already i've already begun planning um which is why you guys now know about all of the changes coming changes that have already happened i decided to do it different and i decided to make the changes to the channel before announcing it um because i wanted to just take the action and then share with you guys why um so hopefully you guys have caught that video as well i know that some of you may be like this girl is always freaking changing but that's the energy that i'm in right now where i'm being constantly called to purge and purge and purge and not to get stuck on something and think i figured it all out because as soon as i think i figured it all out that's when the world gets rocked upside down again and i realize i didn't know everything i thought i did um so things continue to change um and so for once i'm not going to say that i think that the channel is going to remain the way that it is i hope that it does um because i'm really excited about all the lifestyle and mixing the lifestyle and spiritual into one channel i'm really excited to be doing all of that i'm really excited for all that i have planned um for this channel and for the group and for the membership program but yeah, I just wanted to be able to sit down and talk with you guys. This is not your typical apartment tour, but I'm not your typical channel. Um, and so I really wanted to kind of share with you guys, like, yeah, seeing this space is cool, but I'm leaving this space. So it's not like it's a space that I'm still decorating or I feel attached to at this point. It's more of me showing, you know, honoring the space that it is and honoring where I'm coming from and then being excited and showing where we're going and how we're going to decorate that space. Um, but I wanted to also just share with you and sit with you and just share how I'm feeling about this space and about leaving this space and about how much it's meant for me. Um, so yeah, I, I, I truly know that I'm being called to do more and to do more work um, and more now on the side of the physical, not just the spiritual. Um, there's always going to be tons of spiritual lessons for me to learn. Um, but I feel right now that I'm really being shifted into an arena of doing a lot of physical work, hence why all of the planning, uh, coming up with plans for my business, for my health, for um, finances and things. Okay, so, whew, sorry, had to stop the video for a second because my memory card was full and um, I had to search through the box to find my other ones. So, um, but anyways, um, I'm gonna go ahead and end that here. I guess I got everything out that I needed to get out. Um, I just wanted to make sure that I like ended it and so we're back in this space, but um, honey's home now, so 
I'm going to actually get the stuff together now um, for what we need to, like, we're not moving today, but I'm going over to get the keys today at 3 o'clock, and it's about 1.30 now. Um, so I'm just going to get my stuff together because I'm going to be cleaning over there today. So I'm going to be bringing, excuse me, I'm going to be bringing the space heaters so that we're not cold and like my cleaning supplies. So trash bags, like one trash bag, a roll of tissue for the bathroom there so that we can use the bathroom if we need to. Um, my, you know, cleaning stuff, my spray and stuff like that, my broom, my vacuum, actually just the broom because there's it's all hardwood flooring and there's no furniture down right now, so it'd be fairly easy to just um, sweep everything. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna get all that stuff together, and I'm going to vlog like the empty apartment tour. I'm not gonna vlog me cleaning it, cause I mean, who really needs to see all that, right? Um, but I am going to walk you guys through the apartment, like as soon as we are able to get the keys and we've settled everything with that, and um, you know. So I'll walk you guys through that apartment and then tomorrow I will kind of like document the moving process. It's pretty much, it'll be a moving vlog. Peace, love, and light to you. I will see you in the next video.